Okay, I'm just to show what's going on. Basically, I have here the gorgeous uh, Ica Supreme block, which is slightly less restrictive than um, than coolants. This goes right here. Nice, nice block. I really like it in my testing. Also, I need to remove this uh, gorgeous gigabyte cooling system here and replace it with my custom water cooling parts and like most of these vlogs will go right there uh, here and uh, this block will go to replace this part okay so that's what I'm going to do and uh, put net <coughs> to remove custom gigabyte block what needs to be done is it just holds on those plasticky um, I don't know like fittings kind of and so I need to press them carefully press it down and uh, just to remove it and after that we can proceed with installation of the custom part uh, for the CPU block I have everything ready because actually this um, screws uh, assembly is actually from EK it's not original um, coolants uh, screws and nuts so basically I don't um, need to replace too much here just to uh, remove this block and uh, put uh, my supreme back and it will be awesome so um, I will cut video for now and I'll show you a bit more progress so I don't need to look for 10 minutes uh, when I'm struggling through all this plastic stuff and we'll see how things going okay what I uh, just done I basically pressed all this plastic uh, fixators up and unscrewed two screws and here and it looks like a block already loose so I didn't remove it yet so I'll just do it um, right now and see what's going on here right, here we go so basically this was a thermal pads uh, here then on the MOSFET there was a little bit of um, thermal solution on the controller and uh, that's pretty much it uh, so we can put this thing aside for now and um, okay and see how the block might go and if it fits at all um, yeah, seems okay. Seems okay. Okay. And the uh, first thing I will do, I actually will put a MOSFET block here. Here and there. And for that, what you need to do is uh, to cut um, thermal, thermal pad. Just put it over here and over here and uh, just screw your blocks on on top of the stuff so you have a good nice connection between block and uh, those um, chips and um, and we'll see how things going okay small update what's going on um, I applied the thermal grease on a, on the block I'm using a jellied compound um, which I tested against MX and uh, got pretty good result so I decided to use that instead of uh, MX2 compound this time and um, basically I put screws through the motherboard and um, And I apply a thermal compound on um, North Bridge, South Bridge, and I put a thermal pad on um, 
on a SATA controller. Alright? So now it will be a little bit awkward how to put it on and but uh, we'll see what's the best way to do that carefully and uh, come back with the results. Okay, here we go. I installed the chipset block and MOSFETs and I removed the CPU from coolants right here. You can see that. And um, basically I, I spent some time already trying to figure out routing. Uh, distance is very short here and it's difficult to run a tube as on short distance and sharp turn thinking it's happening and uh, so it will kill the floor. So that's really bad. Um, so I try to see if I can improve distances. So we have a here e cup block and this is a solution I come up with. Uh, blue tube, uh, this is inlet for the water coming from the pump and after that I will connect it to the chipset block right here and from chipset block it goes to the MOSFET like this and um, here come a problem basically I need 90 degrees uh, fittings otherwise there's no way to connect it with such a short distance but what I decided to do uh, I have a flow meter here uh, you see which basically make me a 180 degree turn so I will do it just on two tubings and um, we connect flow, flow meter as a temporary solution because I don't have 90 degree fittings at all and uh, we'll see what flow is going on um, so that's how it will be working so I connect here there and this is a red tube that will go to the to the video card so everything of course will be green tubing but I just wanted to to show it how it so it's, um, shows easier and um, what I will do next, I put it into the case, I will connect all tubing properly and put motherboard inside of the case and uh, probably connect it to the water pump and I'll make it run for a while and see if there any leaking. And if not, uh, next step will be trying blocks on uh, video cards and add them to the, to the picture.